Hi, my name is Dave. In this video, I'll be covering on how to close an option contract. I will be using Tastyworks desktop platform in this video. Let's move into Tastyworks platform now. Here we are at the Tastyworks desktop platform. The main topic today is the closing of the option contracts in one of the existing positions. Now, let's go straight into the position tab and see what we have there. Inside here, I can see two symbols. One is GM, which is General Motors, and the other is QQQ, which is Nasdaq ETF. Let's take a look at what option contracts that I have for GM. As you can see, I have a put vertical credit spread, which is also known as bull put spread with an expiration in June. Let's say that I plan to close the option contracts of GM right now. As this June put vertical spread consists of two option legs, I will have to click on both option contracts and you can see that they are being selected as I click them. After that, I can do a right click and select close position. Instead of a vertical spread, if you have just a simple call option contract, you can just select one leg, right click on it and just close the position. But in my scenario, this vertical spread has two option legs. And I will close both the legs together so as to close the June put vertical spread. Now, you can see that the closing price is 39 cents. You can choose to adjust the price accordingly by using the up and down arrow. In this case, I would want to close the options contract at the price of 39 cents. I will also adjust the number of contracts that I will be closing. In this case, I'll be closing the quantity of 1. Before I click the Review and Send button, I will need to adjust the TIF as well. As you can see on the right side, there's a TIF which is Time in Force. The type of TIF that you have selected will determine how long the order will try to work before expiring if it does not get filled. Day order will work until the end of the current trading day. GTC order, which is good till cancelled. This order will work indefinitely until the order is filled or cancelled. Do note that this GTC order will expire after the expiration date. Next is the GTD order, which is good till date. This order will continue to work till the trading date that you have selected. As you can see, if you choose GTD, a calendar will appear for you to choose the date that you want. Okay, for TIF, I've selected GTC order. I would want my order to work till it is filled or cancelled, and it will remain in force until the expiration date. Once the contract price has been adjusted to the price that I want, and I have also adjusted the number of contracts that I will be closing, in this case, the quantity is 1. For TIF, I've selected GTC. Once I'm done with the adjustment, I will click Review and Send. The review screen will show my closing order, and if everything is fine, I will submit my order for it to be filled. This is how the closing of option contracts is being done. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch more free videos at willtrades.com.